Hello again, I'm William Brangham, and thanks for staying with us on American Graduate Day. As we continue our discussion on the importance of a STEAM education, let's take a look at a unique program that's located in one of the poorest areas of the country, the Hunts Point section of the Bronx. The organization is called Rocking the Boat. They're making waves by instructing students through STEAM-related subjects using boat building, navigation, and environmental projects designed to help restore the Bronx River. As they say at Rocking the Boat, kids don't just build boats, boats build kids. Rocking the Boat's primary way of getting kids uh, through high school to graduation and on to next steps in life is by giving them really, really compelling, dynamic reasons to stay in school. And coming to Rocking the Boat after school and learning all these amazing things and having all these amazing experiences and having to be in school in order to do it is a pretty powerful incentive. This is awesome. It's the community, how, how we treat each other as family. I feel like they made me who I am today. We build real wooden boats from scratch. That includes designing them, laying them out on lofting boards. It involves using all the tools in the shop. We then use the boats to do a whole range of maritime skills. So that includes rowing, navigation, steering, knot tying, everything you need to know in order to use a boat safely. We've built about 48 different rowing and sailing and paddling boats. A lot of people look at me and I tell them, I build boats. Their first reaction is, uh, you're lying, you're a little girl. Uh, no. When we launch a boat, it feels like you're on top of the world and that you can do anything. I felt proud because I looked at the boat and I was like, yeah, I did that, I did that. The greatest connection to uh, high school academics, math, science, is not so much, oh, I learned this at Rock in the Boat and now I'm better at math in school, as much as I learned that math has a purpose at Rock in the Boat. I learned that science isn't just something I need to learn so I can pass the test, it's something that actually matters. Yeah, everything we do is math-based, whether it be taking a measurement or reading an angle. Also, I would consider it hands-on engineering because we need to build things that are structurally strong enough to support the forces that are put onto the boats. I think it's a very unique opportunity for kids to be able to see that hands-on, not just mathematically in the classroom with diagrams, but actually seeing it, experimenting with it, and also seeing failure and having to improve the design. We do all sorts of chemistry, biology in my program. We do all sorts of calculations, math. We work in different units of measurement that the students may not have heard of before. So we cover a lot of bases. Uh, first pH is um, 8.0. Today, for example, we were out sampling pathogens and doing water quality. So we're looking for bacteria levels in the river, which are tied to influx of sewage, which is also tied to weather events on the Bronx River. The water quality stuff, I learned a lot here and in my chemistry class when we were doing those kind of stuff. I was answering most of the questions there. I'm like, oh, I know this because I did it rocking the boat. We're in Hunts Point. It's the poorest zip code east of the Mississippi, 10474. It's in the poorest congressional district in the nation. And the social and economic issues that exist here are, are all that you can imagine. I think there's a 35% on-time high school graduation rate. Rocking the boat's 100%. This is about the toughest place you could live in New York City, and that's the reason why we're here. There's a greater need than what just the boat builders or the environmental program directors can provide. So the social workers come in and do individual counseling with every student. Um, we check in with them. We also run groups related to socio-emotional things that we're seeing. We also do college access and fill in any gaps that the schools have. I had to read the book Moby Dick, and Liz was right there with me. Liz bought the book, I bought the book. We used to come here like almost every single day and she used to help me read that book. When I came here, I came with uh, a visa. So with that visa, I wouldn't be able to go to college today, but she helped me get all my, my green card and stuff. So that was really, really great that she did for me. Um, it's because of her that I'm going to college. Oh, if it wasn't for Liz, thank goodness rocking a boat. <laughs> 
When I got into the Rock and the Bowl, I learned a lot about myself. And what I learned about myself is that I'm a good uh, team worker. I bring groups together and I lead them. I have a lot to contribute to a team. So that, that's also very good to me because it shows that I'm worth something. I don't really think I would graduate high school without them because it was, you know, they really helped me a lot. You learn that you as a person, you don't feel that great by yourself, but with these, you, you feel like you're a part of something. Rocking the boat gave me the American dream. Now I'm going to college. Um, I'm having a, a pretty good future ahead of me. I'm worried about my education. Rock and the boat is pushing me to do it, so why not? make them proud, right? American Graduate Day, a live nationwide outreach event.